Uh, it's going to be a great time. Speaking of a great time, we're heading uh, to uh, Ishpeming Township. Uh, this morning, TV6's Samantha Rivera is with the Youper Goddess. I can hardly wait to see what Lori's whipping up for us today. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> Good morning, Vicki. That's right. I'm so Hi. excited <laughs> to get my hands dirty today and finally be with the Uper Goddess. Today we will be making some relish zucchini with some hot banana peppers, right? Yeah, yeah so some yeah. simple snacks for anyone I'm on the go. I'm going to put her to work. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it should be known that I am a really picky eater, but you know what? <sighs> I'm in a new town, hundreds of miles away from home. Why not try something else new, well, right? Oh, she's going to turn into a youper. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> yes. So <sighs> make sure to stick around for after that as well, because we'll also be making some deviled eggs. Yeah. So, yeah. And remember, if you like what you see on here, make sure to head on over to youpergoddess.com, where you can see all of Lori's recipes and much, much more. Reporting live in Ishpeming, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Well, just so you know, Samantha, Lori has a catchphrase. If you think you can't, doubt it. And it's the same Ooh. thing whether or not you like her food. Doubt it because okay. you're going to love it. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. Let's I'm head sure. on over to the Weather Center. Find out what's coming up on the weather today. And this morning, we're back with more of Samantha Rivera's a very first day with the Uber Goddess. Some simple yet delicious That's snacks funny. to try out. So how's that zucchini relish coming along, ladies? Oh, it's coming along pretty well. So <laughs> she's been Lori, having fun, let me tell you. Oh yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So Lori, tell us why you are squeezing this towel. Okay, when we make our relish, we want to, first of all, you're going to um, shred your zucchini. Okay. And you can have it whatever texture you want. I did it on this mandolin here, which made little sticks hmm, okay. of zucchini. You can use a cheese grinder or mm -hmm. the cheese shredder. Sure. Um, you can cut it by hand if you want, but that would be a lot of work. Yeah. But if you don't squeeze the liquid out of this, now look at all the, oh the juice goodness. I got out of here. Yeah. Um, you don't want all that in your relish. No, yeah. So what we're going to do is um, you get this all squeezed out. Okay. Okay. And we're going to put it in. Right here we have four and a half cups of sugar and two and a half cups of white vinegar. Okay. And we're just going to put this in here. And I had you... Um, grinding up the peppers. Yes. Hey. Yes, you did. Was that the first time you ground peppers up? No, I have done it before for my ah. mom and my grandma's, so, but it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put that in there. Okay. And the one thing we're going to do is, this is going to cook for probably uh, about 15 minutes. Okay. Um, and you made bad. that there. Yes, I did. So I put in one tablespoon of dry mustard, you can see this right here. Dry mustard, uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of celery seed, and a half teaspoon of turmeric. So, yeah, and what yeah, made and it easier? Hey? We took some of the juice yes. from yeah. here, and you make a little slurry out of it, mm -hmm. like a paste, and that just makes it easier to whisk it up. Exactly. And um, then you can just pour that in there. Okay. And this is what's going to thicken it, too. Now, if you're making this relish, and, it, and you say, oh, I want the juice to be just a little bit thicker, just add a little bit more cornstarch to yep. it. And, you know, it'll start to get thicker. So okay. what I do here is I usually put a little bit of this mixture in here just to get it all. Ooh, okay. You don't want to waste any of it. Yeah. <laughs> that is smart. Okay, so in total, how long would you say this takes to make? Um, from start to finish, well, when you... When you um, do your zucchini. Mm -hmm. You have to do it the night before. Yes, okay. So you put your zucchini and your onions um, in a bowl and you take five tablespoons of canning salt and you let it sit overnight. Okay. Now that salt draws all the water mm -hmm. out of the onions and the zucchini. And then you have to squeeze it, like I said. I mean, look at this huge bowl of water so I got. So much. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> that would be in there. Yeah. That wouldn't be good. No. So, um, I would say once you get that, like in the, the next day after your stuff sits, mm -hmm. it, it's literally like less than an hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is super quick. And this is like so good. And yeah. she did taste it. I did, yeah. I got a picky eater Guys, here on my hands. I am such a picky eater and I liked it. Like it was not spicy. It was super good. Lori's a magician, honestly. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to like this girl. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so remember, guys, uh, if you like what you see, make sure to go on to youpergoddess.com to see all the recipes that Lori has on there. And reporting live from Ishpeming, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. See all you right. later. We'll be Bye catching guys. up with you ladies later on to see how it finishes up. So this is exciting to see. And she likes it. Yes, I'm looking <laughs> forward to seeing if we like it too.
The Upra Goddess is showing us how to make relish zucchini this morning. Let's go back to TV6's Samantha Rivera, whose first day with the Upra Goddess seems to be off to a good start. Good morning again, Samantha. Good morning, Andrew. So as you said, we are making uh, the relish zucchini, and we're going to add that to some deviled eggs. And Lori, tell us what we did to get to this point. Well, you take 10 cups of shredded zucchini okay. and four cups of onions with five tablespoons of canning salt, and you let that sit overnight, mm -hmm. and you squeeze it out like we did yes. to get all that liquid out of there. Lots of that. And then you're going to grind up seven to eight banana peppers, hot banana peppers, okay. and that's what gives this relish like that zing. Yeah. Like when you're eating, it's like it's not hot in your mouth, but it's just that, woo, it's like good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now you're going to put it in a jar. Am, now, yes. for someone who has never canned, um, <laughs> it's very easy. I mean, yeah. everyone, some people are afraid of it, but really, why be afraid? You know, yeah. it's just fun. Feels, yeah. So you're going to fill that up. And one thing you don't ever want to do is use metal in your jars when you're mm -hmm. canning because it, it can make your jars want to break. Yep. Um, you want to always use plastic or wood. Okay. okay. So you're going to fill that up. And what I did here with these deviled eggs is like I was telling you, hey, yeah. I took my eggs and I flipped them over last night and it's supposedly supposed to get the yolk in the middle. Check it out. <laughs> it, it worked. I mean, the yolk will sink and it like is in the middle of the egg. And what I did here is I took the yolks out of, this is six eggs, and I put about three tablespoons of Miracle Whip, a tablespoon of our relish, about a teaspoon of lemon juice and some salt. And look at how easy it is to do when you put this in a bag. Um, usually, you know, you can have a nightmare when you're trying to <laughs> put the eggs in here. Yeah, but um, John tasted one and he really liked it. That is good. So, all okay. right, you got yeah. that done. And Not too you, bad for Yeah, and what time. you do when you, um, you want to heat your lid up a little yes. bit. Yes. Yeah. And then you want to wipe the ring on on your jar you'd mm -hmm. want to make sure you don't have any liquid on there it'll yes. prevent it from sealing and then you just kind of tug it hey mm -hmm. just lightly like you don't want to gorilla grip it like yeah mm, <laughs> do it as hard as you can just kind of uh, like that nice so yeah we got a couple shout outs this yes morning. we do well Bo and Connor yeah. are just two of my favorite <laughs> guys and I hope you guys are getting ready for school and another little guy I met Cody he was so cute I met him at the farmers market and I said, do you like cooking? He goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. He's like, I just like watching. Oh my gosh, and that's adorable. also Kevin, I met at a book signing. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your school. Yes. Which just started last week. And um, this relish, I'm not kidding you, is when I bring my deviled eggs somewhere, people are like, why do these taste so good? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. So... Yeah, I mean, it's hey, yours, I got this girl so. to taste this. Yeah, so if I can taste this and I love it, then <laughs> you guys will probably love it too. So, so. do you think you're going to be really picky? Uh, you know doubt what? it. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, guys, if you like what you see here, go on to youpergoddess.com and she will have all the recipes to today's. Yeah, keep food. smiling. So, yeah, reporting live from Ishpeming, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Sounds like a great time. Yeah, it's a lot of fun in that kitchen always.